everybody, it's Amber, and thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. As you can see, I have a really fun fall project to share with you, and I'm going to do a full tutorial. So you've seen kind of similar albums to this on my channel before, but this one's just a little different. It's like a layered effect. So I'm going to show you the one that I made, and then we're going to make one together. It's so easy. It goes so quick, and it's perfect for those paper collections. Um, let me show you. Well, first of all, the paper I used for this one is Mad Plaid Fall, and this one's by Photoplay. I don't know if it's still available, but if it is, I will link it below for you. I've had this for a couple of years, and I finally wanted to use the rest of it up. So I used that for this album, and then we're going to make one together using this collection right here. So this is one of my favorite fall collections. Stephen Duncan's one of my favorite scrapbook artists. So anyways... We're going to make one using this paper, but first let me show you the one that I already made off camera. So, of course, around it I have this gorgeous, this like mustard yellow goldish seam binding that I got from my scrap cabin, my favorite Etsy shop. I will link it below. She has so many colors and the best quality crinkle dyed seam binding. Plus, um, I'll leave my coupon code below um, that you can use to get 10% off. So I'm, I use seam binding and I will forever because it's one of my favorite items to use with my projects. So this is a cute layered mini album that I made and it could not be easier to make. So if you get one of those collection packs, you can totally use it to make this and you could probably make either like two or three of them actually. So here's what it looks like. I just have this, uh, again, like a layered effect. So here's the first little flip page. I just put a journaling card on the front and I did use die cuts on the sides. So you can add a cute little photo here, here, and again I just glued down some die cuts from this collection. And then you got a nice page here and then a big spot to put lots of pictures or you know your journaling or whatever you can add some journaling spots. And then have a little heart down here and then two more die cuts. So here is a beautiful page, I um, just cut one of these 4x6 journaling cards in half and made two little pockets with some die cuts in there and you can put photos or journal around this and I love how the patterns go all together because it's from the same paper collection and pattern on pattern is my favorite as most of you know so this is another one that I cut the journaling card in half and it's super cute in the middle there with just some die cuts again in the pockets you can put more stuff in there like tags or other memorabilia so then this one is the middle of the album and I put two pockets here which is super cute because all of those cut aparts from the collections can fit in there. So I just cut all these journaling spots apart or you can use them to decorate your pages and I just put them all in here. So you can shove a bunch of stuff in these pockets and then here's these ones. So these are also great to give to like a crafty friend if you want to give them a bunch of die cuts. Again, you can just use these, like you could just have this all cute and then put a picture on the back. It's up to you. So the next page is where I did the hinge and I'll show you how we're going to do that in the tutorial. And then this is a little frame. So I left this open so you can slip like a little picture or a card down in there. And this is the last page and again I did a frame, left it open. Something can be slipped in there. And then there's lots of room for photos. And I'm going to do the hinges just a little different on the one we're going to make, but they're still going to be easy. And then here's the back page. And I just made pockets to put more goodies in. So here's this one. And it adds like a little decorative touch to the back also. Some more layers of color. So there's the album. I think it turned out so cute. And again, I just tied it with this pretty seam binding. You could double the seam binding. Um, use ribbon, twine, whatever you want. Okay, so let's make one of these together and get started on this tutorial. Right, so you know me, I like to get all the paper cut down um, first, so that way I know what I'm using, I know what patterns I'm going to use in the what order, and it's just a lot easier to do it this way. So let me tell you the dimensions of paper you're going to need. This little piece in the front is three and a half by eight. The first dimension I give you is going to be the height and the second dimension is the width. So again, the first piece is three and a half by eight. Then you have a piece that's five and a half by nine. The next piece is seven and a half by ten. 
Then the next one is 8 by 11. And this big one, last one in the back, is 9 by 11 and a half. Then these two little strips on the top, and those measure 2 by 8. And then these ones here to the side are the pockets for the middle page. And you need two of those as well. And that measures 4 by 5 and a half. So now that we have all our paper cut down and ready to go, let me show you how to assemble this. These pieces you're going to set aside for now. And we're just going to work with our pages. So all you're going to do, you can score these in your scoreboard if you want to have a nice crisp line. But to make this a little easier for the video, all you need to do is fold these all in half. Depending on the paper you're using, I'm using very, very sturdy scrapbook paper. It's like heavy duty cardstock. Cartabella has really, really good quality cardstock. So these are super thick. So just make sure you press down gently with your bone folder and don't crack your paper. So here's my first one. I just folded it in half. Here's my next one. And remember, since we're using double sided paper, you can choose the side that you want to show. So like for example, I have this on this, but I could have chosen this side if I wanted to, but you're gonna see both sides anyways. And then we have this one. I'm gonna fold it this way. So again, if you're not using that sturdy of um, scrapbook paper, you might wanna score these down the middle in your scoreboard. So then everyone just opens up and goes inside each other. So there's this one. See how it's already coming along? How easy is this? It's so easy. Um, let me just do a quick flip before we do that. So here's all the pages and you can see that it showcases both sides. And then here's the center. So this is the center and then it goes back this way. Okay, so now let me show you how we're gonna bind these all together where it's super easy with just two hinges. So these are the hinges. Now we're gonna turn to, here's the first, second, third, fourth, here's the middle. So once you go to the middle, the first page that you flip over, that's where the first hinge is gonna go. Okay, so we're gonna just fold this in half lengthwise and fold it to where the outside that you fold over is the part that's not gonna be showing. So when you fold it in half, you wanna fold it like this because I want the orange part showing. So the valley is what is up and here's the mountain. So you can kind of see that. There's the peak right there, and then there's the valley. So the valley is gonna actually go nestled down into that fold. So I'm gonna add score tape to the back of my hinge. Score tape is really strong, and since this is binding our album together with just two hinges, I'm gonna use this really strong adhesive. This is my favorite adhesive ever, and I'm gonna um, link it below for you. So now that we have this all covered in glue, just kind of form your little valley again and bring your book over. And so this is gonna hinge, again, these two pages right here together. So what I'm gonna do is move this one kind of out of the way and get this page where the fold is. And I'm gonna place my hinge so this fold meets that middle fold here. So you just wanna make sure it's nice and even right at that fold. Okay, so now that I have that down, I'm gonna burnish the part that I put on the paper down. And now I'm gonna lay this where I want it. This is the page that it's gonna hook onto. Make sure I have the same length at the top and the bottom, and it looks pretty even to me. And then I'm just going to lay down my hinge. So you have the folds all lined up, and now your hinge is on there. And so now you have these two pages hinged together. So I like to close this also and just 
press it down so those folds go together. So that's our first hinged page. And then we are going to hinge these two pages. This one and this one. So we're going to fold it over just like this. And I'm going to press it with my bone folder. So now here's our hinge for this page. So this one, because this page is a little bit smaller, I need to cut a little bit of this off. So I ended up cutting about an inch off of this one. Make sure you do that or just you know cut it down to the length that you want it. So I'm, again, I'm going to fill this one with my score tape. So here's what our little book looks like now that we have the hinges on there. These are all adhered together. And now I can add the two smaller pages back on just like this and like this. So get it how you want it to be centered and everything on here and then flip it over to the back and this is where we're going to glue these two pages down as pockets. So I'm going to use my Tombow glue here and again. From that fold, I'm just going to glue a very thin bead on the bottom and the side. So then once this closes, it'll become a cute little pocket on the back. So now we're going to make a top loading pocket with this page. So again, I'm going to flip that over and with my wet glue, do a thin bead on the bottom and the side. So then we just want to flip that over and let that dry. So now we've just made two cute little pockets. So here's one here and there's one there. We could put goodies in there. Okay, so here's the completed construction already of our layered album. So let me do a quick flip. So here it all is and it's all adhered together because we have our hinges and we have these glued. So I just went around all my corners. And what this does is it just gives it a look, nice finished look and it causes the corners not to get um, bent with the wear and tear. So I'm just gonna do all these. So we are ready to decorate this. The first thing I'm going to do is look through these cut aparts from the collection. I've already cut them out. So I want to add one kind of to the front here, like I did this one. That'll kind of be like the front cover. So I want to choose a really cute one. Let's see. This collection has so many cute elements. Okay, so let's see how that will look. Yeah, I really love that and it brightens up the front cover. So I'm just gonna um, trim this up a little bit, clean it up. I'm gonna actually round the corners on this. So that's gonna go right there on the front cover. And so let me put these all to the side. So I'm going to add adhesive just to like the middle part of this. So I have the front cover with our cute little decorative card on there. And now, as you can see, I decorated this one a little bit with some die cuts. I do have the die cut set for this, but for some reason it's not in the bin with the paper collection. So I'm going to show you right now how I'm going to turn some stickers into die cuts so we can have this little layered effect. This scrap piece right here, and 
lay some stickers down on there. So I think I like this one for sure. So this is like a tag. So I'm going to add some extra adhesive. I always do that with these stickers because they don't have the greatest stick. So I'm going to add some extra adhesive. And I'm actually going to put this right here on the corner to line up with that edge so it's going to be easier to cut out. And now I'm going to put them on here. So let me show you kind of how I'm going to layer these. They don't have to be perfect and if you had a tiny attacher that would be so perfect for this. Um, so I'm just going to kind of lay them out how I think it looks good. Here's where they are, and you can add as many die cuts as you want, but I just like this little staggered effect. Okay, so let's do the middle page now, and this is where we're going to add our pockets. So pull over those two pieces that measure four by five and a half, and we're just going to add some pockets right here. But remember that these two corners are rounded, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this one, and then I'm going to round this one. So. For this one, I'm going to glue right here. I'm just going to glue with wet glue the two sides and the bottom. I'm just going to match up that rounded corner and then the edge here. And that will make a really cute little pocket. I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. Okay, so we have our pockets adhered down. I'm going to let that dry before I put anything in there. But I'm going to go through this and so what I'm going to do here is take this journal card. This is 4 by 6 I'm just going to fold it in half like this. So what I'm going to do is I folded it in half and I'm just going to cut this right in half. So half of it's going to be glued down right here and the other half right there. I think that's a cute look. So I'm going to actually bring this down just a little, not completely center it, and I'm going to make two cute little top loading pockets. And so you know the drill on that, just glue with wet glue the two sides and the bottom. Okay, so I adhered these down. They're cute little top folding pockets, and we can put in like a tag or something. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up and decorate the rest of it and I'll be right back to show you my finished album. So I finished my album and I love how it turned out. So let me do a full flip through. I just added this cream seam binding and I will link the shop below as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Such beautiful seam binding. So I just used that as a closure and then here is the full flip through of the completed album. So of course you know we added our cover right here. And here's our first flip page. Here is the second one, and you can also tuck something under that paper clip because it's holding this little card in over here. So these are the little four by four cards, and I love that size of a journaling card. This is a nice area just for a photo or a bunch of photos or journaling. And then here is our split journaling card with the two pockets, and I added two tags, or you could use them as bookmarks. And then I just added some more seam binding to the top and it sticks out of the top of the album which looks really cute. And here's this one. So I clipped another one of those 4x4 journaling cards on this page. And these, these are cool because you can um, print Instagram pictures and round the corners and like put the picture back here and then it's like decorative on the front. 
And then here's this big, nice page here. And I just added a sticker right there. So here's the middle of the album, and I just added a bunch of goodies into the pockets. All these cute journaling cards that I cut from the collection. And they're all double-sided, so pictures or journaling can be added to the back. And then here's these. I just added a cute sticker there. And then if you can see down here, I added the fall sticker um, right here. And I, of course, added extra adhesive to all of my stickers. So more stuff can fit in these, um, but it's a great spot to add more pictures or journaling. Or like memorabilia. And then here is a nice spread for lots of photos. And then I just added this autumn sticker down here. Same thing with this, a nice spread for pictures, and then autumn down here. And this would be a nice gift if you wanted to fill it up with pictures for like a family member or something. Maybe if you have like family fall pictures taken or even just pictures you take yourself on a road trip or something. And then here's the last page and I just added two stickers to the back. And then of course, journaling cards to these pockets that we created. So this one's actually a pretty deep pocket, so you could fit lots of stuff in there, um, like more scraps of paper could go in there, anything. So there's my completed layered mini album, and of course the other one that I made. These will be beautiful projects for a craft fair because they're easy to mass produce, or gifts for Christmas, or or even like a hostess gift for Thanksgiving, or you can make this with Christmas paper. There really are no rules and no limits to how you can create these and make them your own. Thank you so much for watching. I love creating with fall paper, and I can't wait to show you my next project. Thanks again, everyone. Bye.